When you walk into this classroom, it's as if you've traveled to the other side of the globe. English isn't spoken in this room. Kindergartners and first graders spend half of their school day immersed in Chinese. They can have com little conversations in Chinese. They can count to thousands of numbers in Chinese. They're learning math and science in Chinese. Um, I think they'll be fluent by the time they're in fourth grade. While Natalie Richardson's son, Patrick, is hard at work at class, she's hard at work at home, lobbying lawmakers to keep the program. This relatively small amount of funding that's been awarded to us and been promised us if they could just continue and fulfill that funding. The district took the half million dollar grant thinking it could match it, but thought it would have five years to make that happen. Not two. We, you know, just poured our hearts and soul into, into making this a success, and to have our funding taken away now would be really difficult. Simon, so pay, pay, so you bet. Simon, so pay, pay, so. It's being open to a world beyond this classroom and this country. That is what is really at stake. I think it's an amazing opportunity to fund excellence for our kids.